you guys, it's Robin from Messy Play Kits, and I'm here to show you guys today one of the easiest and really cutest um, Easter art projects you can do. Um, they're just adorable little bunny prints, and if you're um, a more talented artist than I am, you could even decorate them and actually make them into like bunny faces if you wanted to, but I don't trust my art skills quite that much, but stamping I can do. Um, so they're super cute. I got this inspiration from my friend Christine and I'll share some of her pictures later. Um, they're way cuter than mine, but um, I just want to show you guys how easy this is. And again, if you're um, artistically skilled, unlike myself, you'll be able to make them way, way cooler. So for this project, you need toilet paper rolls, which we all have right now, right? Um, some tape, you might use glue or something like that. Um, I think Christine even just tied them together or rubber banded, but um, you know, figure out what works for you. You'll need paper, of course. Um, at the end, if you wanna write a message on it or decorate it, you might use markers or colored pencils or you know, paint if you're talented, whatever. Um, a tray, and then you'll of course need some paint. Um, various colors. I usually work primarily with primary colors, whatever colors, it doesn't really matter. So to make your super cute little bunny stamp, it is so easy. So you want to take two of your toilet paper rolls and squish them so that they're flat, Oop, all the way flat. They bounce back up pretty well, but those are going to be your bunny ears. So squish them all the way flat. And then get a little bit of your tape. I'm just using plain masking tape because I always have a ton of it. All right, and I'm going to take two pieces like this and I'm going to roll it up so it's sticky side out. And now my bunny ears, I want to make sure that the bottoms are lined up together so that way when I stamp it in the paint and on my paper, they actually both hit the paper. And then I want to make sure that they're closer together at one end like this rather than straight up and down. So kind of together, but sticking out, um, together at the bottom, but sticking out on the top. So I'm gonna take my tape and I'm gonna, whoop, it's sticking to myself, <laughs> it's sticking to me, there we go. All right, so I'm putting the tape along what I'm gonna call the bottom of the ears. And then I'm gonna stick both ears together and push, whoops. <laughs> so now you see they stick together at the bottom here, but they're open at the top. That's exactly what we want. And now we've got our bunny face here. So you can see we're gonna have the bunny head and the bunny ears. We just need to stick those together also. So if you had a hot glue gun or something like that, you could really easily just run a line of hot glue right here and stick these on and you'd be done. But I didn't have that ready. So I'm gonna take some more of my trusty masking tape here. And instead of rolling it on itself, I'm gonna kind of fold it up together like this and crease it so that it's pretty pointed there. And I'm gonna hold my bunny face in the position that I want and I'm gonna put my creased masking tape right in there and kind of put it up on one side so it kind of sticks, it kind of holds them together. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here. So I'm putting the masking tape as far into this section as I can, sticking it up on the ears and then down here on the face so now it's holding them together. All right, and we're gonna do that just one more time, just to make sure it stays together for us. Put that one back. All right, right up here, get that masking tape in there, tape it together, and one more time on this side. All right, super cute, super easy. I want my ears to be a little pointier. So I'm just going to shape them until I've got them kind of how, how I want them to look. All right. So I'm going to start with just one piece of paper at a time. Got a little bit. And you know what? I've actually already got a tray with red paint on it over here and another little bunny stamp that I've already been working with. So I'm just going to keep using that one. That's how I made my samples. So now I take my bunny stamp and I'm just gonna push it, push it into the paint. I just spread a little bit of paint on there, kind of spread it around. Um, and I'm just being pretty generous, getting enough paint on my bunny. And now we just go right here on the paper. What I found is that if you just kind of go down and back up, oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. <laughs> it's so easy, you guys. 
All right. So go back for another dip. What I found is if you just go straight down and up, you find that you kind of miss some spots. See, I miss a little section of the ear and the face right there. And I was consistently missing those when I first started pushing, when I was first making my imprint. So what I want to make sure that I do is when I put it down on the paper, you kind of press it down on all the spots to make sure that you get it all the way around. And that's still, you know, I missed a little bit there, but it's a lot closer. So there you go. Super duper easy. Um, and you could also see if you've got more toilet paper rolls, which we all kind of do, or you can even take them and cut them in half lengthwise so you can make smaller pieces. But you could even, like what other shapes could you make this way? I bet if you took more of these folded things and went all the way around, you could make a really cool flower. Or if you line it up right, you can even do it. Ooh. I didn't quite line it up right, but you can see if I keep going around, wee, I'm gonna have a flower here. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Okay, this is pretty cute. <laughs> Look at that, I even made a flower. And I just, you, if you just saw, I just kind of rotated around. I had the overlap right there at the end because I didn't have enough to go all the way. Super duper easy. Uh, my mom also had the idea, and let me put this to the side, grab another piece of paper. All right. To take three toilet paper rolls and just put them straight up and down. And let's see if we do a print this way. Oops kind of moved a little bit. And then we could come back and decorate it. We could put a little top hat on it and maybe a scarf and some arms and some buttons going down and a face. And it could be a cute little snowman because right now it is snowing in my hometown, not this one, but where I grew up, it is snowing. Even though it's April, there's a lot of snow coming down. So we thought it'd be fun. You could do a snowman. If you're ready for it to be spring, you could do flowers. Or if you're just really focused on Easter because that's coming up and it's a little time sensitive, you have to get something going pretty quickly. Some cute little bunnies. So there you have it. Toilet paper rolls, super duper easy. It takes you like two minutes to do it and is really, really fun. So, all right, have fun, you guys. Happy Easter.